Hey, hey, happy Saturday evening. Um, just relaxing, trying to break out of the quarantine blues. So to get me out of the quarantine blues, I decided to go ahead and create a look from this nice Alyssa Edwards palette. It has some very, very good colors in here. So I'm just going to go for it, see what we come out with. I've already done my brows. Um, right before we went on quarantine, I got my brows micro shaded or powder brows or whatever. So I kind of just go in and feel if I'm going to do any type of um, eyeshadow look. So that's what I did. Went ahead and filled them in. And then I went ahead and just primed my eyelids. And I'm going to go in with something very white and creamy so that I can get these colors to go on very vibrant. So I'm going to take the milk NYX pencil and just pat that right over the lid just so we get it nice and vibrant. Okay, so I'm going to take a blending brush. I'm going to take this MAC blending brush and I'm going to go into Unicorn Tribe right here. Unicorn Tribe. I'm going to lay that just gonna push a little bit of that on the side. You see that? Just a little bit. Push it in, and then I'm gonna blend it over. Like so. Just push the color in there. The pigmentation is really good. Right in there. All right, let me go on the other side. Colors really good. Just packing it on first and then blend it out. In the crease, I'm going to go in with Texas Made. It's this really, really pretty color right here. Texas Made. Right in my crease. Taking a tapered Bedellium Tools brush. And just go right in the crease. This is really powerful. These colors are very, very vibrant. If I must say so myself, very vibrant. Got that in there. Then I'm gonna go in here with this Morphe brush. It's the Morphe, I can't even read it. I think all the numbers have gone off of it. And I'm really gonna get in there and diffuse the color on the edges so that I don't have any harsh lines there. Very diffused, very soft. And these colors are very, very blendable. No patchiness. I primed, primed them really well with concealer and then I went over the lid with uh, the Milk Jumbo Pencil. So that's beginning to be very blended out. Nice. Now on my lid, I'm gonna take this color called Beyond. It's right here, it has a little shimmer in there. Right in there. I'm going to place that on my lid. Sometimes I spray colors to have them come out vibrant, but I'm going to see. I may not have to spray this at all. Just pushing that right into my lid. Right there. This is like a tri-color pink look. I'm gonna do a kind of a cheating cut crease right in here. Right in this area. Because this brush is wide enough to give me that effect, that cut crease effect. In my waterline, I'm gonna go in with this particular color here. It's like a shimmer. Looks like it's kind of blue in the camera, but it's really 
a beautiful um, purple color, but it, it's giving off blue. Maybe. The okay, so what I'm going to do is I am going to use some brick road in my teared up right in here just to give me a nice little pop of color. Nice pop. Okay. 